3 Atlas just lost 99% of its mass, and according to the laws of physics, that should be impossible. In less than 90 days, this interstellar visitor has gone from a 33 trillion kilogram giant to a 260 billion kilogram ghost. 32 trillion tons of matter have simply vanished into the void without an explosion or a debris cloud. It is a mathematical anomaly that suggests this object is not at all what it seems. I'll be honest, I can't shake the feeling that we are witnessing a glitch in our understanding of space. To lose 99% of your mass in the silence of the drift without tearing yourself apart is something a comet shouldn't be able to do. It makes me wonder if 3i Atlas is actually a hollow shell, a machine, or a light sail adjusting its own density as it moves. NASA is searching for natural answers, but a discrepancy this large is unheard of. Today we follow the trail of the missing trillions to find what is really hiding in the heart of 3 Atlas. Between May and September, 3 Atlas was the most scrutinized object in the sky. We had over 230 observatories worldwide pointing their lenses into the darkness, tracking its every move with a precision that is hard to even wrap your head around. We're talking about an accuracy of 0.028 arc seconds. To put that in human terms, imagine being able to spot a single coin sitting on a sidewalk from over 100 kilometers away. That is how closely we were watching. And during those five months, something very specific happened. Absolutely nothing. Three Atlas moved exactly where gravity told it to move. There was no wobbling, no erratic behavior, and no gas pushing it off course. It was just a silent, massive weight drifting through the void. Now here is the part that always messes with my head. In physics, silence tells a story. If an object is being hit by solar radiation and potentially venting gas, but it doesn't move even a fraction of a millimeter, it means it must be incredibly heavy. Heavy objects have high inertia. They are hard to push. Scientists like Abby Loeb and several other teams crunched the numbers based on this lack of movement. They concluded that for three Atlas to remain so steady and unresponsive to solar pressure, it had to be a giant. We were looking at a diameter of at least five kilometers and a mass of roughly 33 trillion kilograms. That is a 33 billion ton mountain of interstellar ice. It was a solid, undeniable fact of our observations. We were confident. We were sure. We had measured the giant, and the giant was real. But I can't shake the feeling that this certainty was our first mistake. We assumed that because it was heavy and quiet, it was a typical rock from another star. We watched it for five months, and in all that time, he now it. He made such cranes, and then... The telescope saw no evidence of the rocket effect that usually happens when a comet gets close to a star. This lack of acceleration was so consistent that the detection limit was 300 times more sensitive than the measurements we are seeing today. If there was even a tiny push happening back then, we absolutely should have seen it. So we built our models on that silence. We accepted the giant. But as 3 Atlas began its long drift toward the sun, the giant started to do something that defied every model we had built. It started to shed its reality. What gets me is that this isn't just about a measurement error. You don't get it wrong by 99% when you have hundreds of telescopes watching. It suggests that the object we were tracking in the summer was fundamentally different from what we found in the winter. Some astronomers argue that the outgassing was simply hidden or asymmetric, but others are starting to push back. They wonder if the mass was never really there, or if 3 Atlas was intentionally staying quiet until it reached a specific point in its trajectory. It's a haunting thought, isn't it? The idea that we were watching a 5-kilometer behemoth only because it wanted to be seen that way. But as the heat of the sun intensified, the mask began to slip leading us to a discovery that contradicts everything we thought we knew about the interstellar void. Everything we thought we knew about 3 Atlas shattered in December, when the James Webb Telescope finally measured its push. The tiny acceleration that had been invisible for months, it's a whisper in the darkness, moving the object just 13 kilometers faster every single day. But when scientists plugged that whisper into their models, the mountain disappeared. To get that specific push from the gas being vented, 3 Atlas couldn't be 5 kilometers wide anymore. It had to be 1. And its mass plummeted from 33 trillion kilograms to a mere 260 billion. 
I'll be honest, it feels like a typo. We are talking about a 120-fold difference. It's as if we spent the summer tracking a blue whale only to realize we were looking at a goldfish. The logic behind this shrinking act comes down to a simple but brutal calculation. James Webb measured the gas shooting off the surface at 1,600 kilometers per hour, with the object losing about 150 kilograms of mass every single second. When you combine that speed with that amount of material, physics tells you exactly how much force should be acting on the object. For that force to result in the specific acceleration we are seeing today, the object has to be light. It has to be small. The math is relentless, and it forces us to accept a version of 3 Atlas that is 99% smaller than the giant we saw just 90 days ago. It's a reality that leaves no room for the mountain we thought we knew, leaving us to wonder if we ever truly saw the object at all. What gets me is that if the object was always this light, the sun would have pushed it like a leaf months ago. Yet hundreds of telescopes saw no movement during its summer drift. To lose 99% of your mass without an explosion or a debris cloud is like watching a skyscraper vanish while you're staring right at it. Some call it a fluffy comet to make the numbers work, but that feels like a desperate excuse for a reality that doesn't fit our textbooks. In the silence of the void, 3 Atlas is acting less like a rock and more like something shedding its own skin. It entered our system as a giant and is leaving as a ghost, discarding 32 trillion tons of itself as it prepares to dive back into the eternal darkness. Some researchers wonder if we are trying to force a natural explanation onto something that isn't natural at all. It's a debate that usually stays in the shadows of academia, but with 3 Atlas, the numbers are so broken that the machine theory is starting to look like the only thing that actually fits the data. If 32 trillion tons of mass didn't actually vanish, if there was never a solid mountain of rock to begin with, then the paradox disappears. This is where scientists like Avi Loeb push us to think outside the box, suggesting that what we perceived as a five-kilometer behemoth might actually be a thin, hollow shell, a structure so light that it catches the radiation of our star like a sail in the void, explaining why it looked massive when far away, but was pushed around like a feather once it hit the sun's heat. I'll be honest, the idea of an interstellar probe masquerading as a comet is terrifying, but it solves the mystery of the vanishing mass perfectly. In that scenario, we didn't lose anything. We simply miscalculated because we assumed we were looking at a rock. While others argue for a fluffy comet with hidden gas jets, the movement of this visitor feels less like an accident and more like a deliberate maneuver. It's hard not to wonder if we are witnessing a form of camouflage, a way to drift through the silence of the galaxy, looking like a stray piece of ice, only to adjust its trajectory using the very star it's visiting. If 3 Atlas is a machine, it entered our system as a heavy, silent observer, and lightened its load as it prepared to leave. We are like ancient sailors looking at a modern ship and trying to explain why the island is moving against the wind. We are using the tools of our era to measure the technology of a million years from now. NASA models struggle because they assume everything in the darkness is either rock or gas. But 3 Atlas is showing us a third way. It is a ghost in the machine of our solar system a visitor that refuses to be weighed by our rules. Whether it's a dying comet or a hollow scout, it has left us with a hole in our understanding the size of 32 trillion tons. And as it moves back into the eternal void, we may never get a second chance to look inside. I don't know if we'll ever have a final answer for what happened to those 32 trillion tons of matter. The universe doesn't usually give up its secrets so easily, and 3 Atlas is already beginning its long journey back into the eternal void. We are left with two conflicting realities, the silent giant we measured in the summer and the lightweight ghost we see now. Maybe the math is broken, or maybe our understanding of what constitutes a rock in the interstellar darkness is simply too primitive. What gets me is the idea that we might have shared our solar system with something truly anomalous and we spent the whole time trying to fit it into a box that was never meant to hold it. Whether it was a fragile comet shedding its soul or a hollow machine adjusting its drift, 3 Atlas has left a mark on our physics that won't be easily erased. 
It reminds us that the silence between the stars isn't just empty space. It's a place where the rules we know might not apply. I appreciate you joining me on this journey into the heart of the anomaly. If the mystery of three Atlas and the missing trillions has left you staring at the stars a little longer tonight, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps us keep the lights on here as we continue to track the unknown. And if you'd like to support our deep dives into the darkness even further, you're always welcome to become a member of our community. We're all just drifting together trying to make sense of the ghosts in the machine. Until the next visitor crosses the silence, stay curious and keep watching the void. In Cosmos, we trust.